the most notable aircraft of the Indian Armed Forces. It's incredible to think that the history of armed forces in India dates back thousands of years, with written references to Indian armies going as far back the Vedas, the oldest scriptures of Hinduism from as early as 1500 BCE. Classical Indian texts describe archery and other martial arts and the forces that use them. Yet often, people in the West don't think of India when they think of modern military forces. India's armed forces today are actually the second largest in the world by manpower, second only to China and outranking the United States, with roughly 1,444,500 active duty personnel and another 1,155,000 reserve members. But does their equipment measure up? We'll see. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Republic of India's armed forces and, in particular, focusing on the most impressive Indian-made aircraft from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, or HAL. Based in Bangalore in southern India, HAL is one of eight defense PSUs, public sector undertakings, of the Indian government. HAL manufactures fighter aircraft and helicopters, among other related products. It was founded in 1940 as Hindustan Aircraft, employs over 32,000 Indians, and earns an annual revenue of roughly 3 billion UD dollars. While the Indian Armed Forces also work with foreign suppliers in France, Israel, Italy, Russia, the United States, and the United Kingdom, it's important to note how much of their fleet is homegrown at PSUs like HAL. So, without further ado, let's take a closer look at the five most incredible aircraft produced by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited currently in use by India's armed forces. 1. HAL Karan First on the list, we have the HAL HJT-16 Karan, meaning Ray of Light. The Karan is a two-seat jet-powered trainer aircraft first produced by HAL in 1964 and introduced into service in 1968. In use by both the Indian Air Force and Navy, 190 Karans were built between 1964 and 1989, meaning the oldest of them have been in service for over 50 years. While they are primarily used to train fighter pilots, a fleet of Karans was also in use by the Indian Air and Naval Forces aerobatics teams up till 2011, when most returned to training duty and six were donated by India to Myanmar's Air Force. Within the 190 individual Karans, there are 118 of the original design, 72 Mark 1As, which have armament capabilities that the originals do not, and 61 Mark 2s, the last of the line, produced in the 80s, which have four added underwing hardpoints and integral twin 7.62mm machine guns. The basic design of the Karan has a 35-foot wingspan, a maximum takeoff weight of 9.337 pounds, and can carry two 500-pound bombs or two SNEB rocket pods, as well as any other built-in armaments. They have a surface ceiling around 30,000 feet and can travel as fast as 432 miles per hour. They would be powerful fighter jets, but for their relatively low endurance. Karans have a flight endurance of only 1 hour 45 minutes, meaning anything they needed to get done in the air would have to be done in a short period of time. That said, considering that they lasted over 50 years with few incidents, they certainly seem to have an impressive endurance of a different kind. But the Koreans can't last forever. Though the Indian forces have worked to extend their lifespan, replacements are long overdue, with the troubled HAL HJT-36 Sitara in development to take their place, and in the meantime, support and replacements coming in the form of the British BAE Systems Hawk, which has been licensed manufactured by HAL since 2007 to supplement the aging fleet. 2. HAL Cheetah Next on the list, we have the HAL Cheetah, a single-engine helicopter built by HAL in collaboration with Brazil's Helibras and Aerospatiale of France. In France, it's known as the Llama, and in Brazil as the Gavial. First introduced in 1971, the Cheetah produced by HAL was, for a time, used by the Chilean Army, but is today used exclusively by India's Air Force. However, variations of the collaborative helicopter design are in use by at least seven different Air Forces worldwide, including those of Afghanistan and Argentina. A versatile aircraft, HAL has also produced a Cheetah with an upgraded engine called the Cheetal and an armed version known as the Lancer. Impressively, 
The Cheetah set a record for helicopter absolute altitude by reaching 40,814 feet in 1972, a record that would not be broken until 2002. To say it's a tough little aircraft would be an understatement. The Cheetah was designed specifically for the use of the Indian and Nepalese Air Force in the Himalayas. They needed a chopper capable of going higher in hotter conditions than any existing helicopter could manage. So, working with a light French airframe and multinational know-how, they built an aircraft that remains fairly exceptional in the field of high-altitude performance almost 50 years later. The Cheetah's basic stats are as follows. It takes a crew of 1 in 4 passengers or a slung payload of up to 2,500 pounds. It can travel up to 119 miles per hour and has a recommended service ceiling of 17,715 feet, but can, obviously, go higher. Much, much higher. Today, the upgraded Cheetals, modernized in 2006, remain in high demand with the Indian forces, while the older Cheetahs are working their way towards retirement. 3. HAL Druv Moving on, we come to our third entry, the HAL Druv, meaning unshakable. The Druv is a multi-role utility helicopter created by one of the research and development sections of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and manufactured by HAL since 1992. It was first conceived of as a multi-role light helicopter program introduced by the IAF and Indian Naval Air Armament in 1979, a contract was created in 1984, and consultants from Germany were brought in to help with the design and development. After a halting start, the Druv took its first flight in 1992, but its early development continued to be plagued by accidents and issues, so it didn't enter service until 2002. In all, it took over 20 years for the Druv to go from concept to realization. However, since its 2002 introduction, the model has become quite popular, with over 200 HAL Druvs produced for a variety of customers, including Israel, Ecuador, and Nepal, as well as being used domestically by the Indian Air Force, Navy, Army Aviation Force, Coast Guard, and Border Security. It has been used for transport, geological surveys, and policing efforts, and has been particularly useful in rescue operation, with Druvs taking the lead in rescue efforts following flooding in northern India in 2013. The basic Druv model is a two-seater for a two-man crew, holds 12 to 14 passengers, and has a maximum takeoff weight of 12,125 pounds. It can travel up to a maximum of 181 miles per hour and has a service ceiling of 20,000 feet. It comes with a number of built-in warning systems, including a laser or radar warning system and the MAW-300 Missile Approach Warning System, as well as the BOPL ECM Dispenser. Considered comparable to the Sikorsky S-76 or Augusta Westland AW-139, it's likely that, despite its rocky start, the Druv will now be in service for a long time. 4. HAL Rudra the next entry on this list is, in fact, a variation on the HAL Druv, but one significant enough that it's worth mentioning in its own right. The HAL Rudra, meaning the one who roars, or the mightiest of the mighty, is an armed variation of the Druv, also designed and developed by the Rotary Wing Research and Design Center of HAL. The Rudra version of the already hardy copter took its first flight in 2007 and entered service in 2012, with at least 58 individual craft manufactured and in service today. This advanced, combat-ready take on the Druv is used exclusively by the Indian Army and Air Force. The Rudra is also known as the ALH-WSI, or Armed Light Helicopter Weapon Systems Integrated, which tells you a lot on its own. While this chopper's basic capabilities and shape closely mimic the Druv in terms of weight and speed, it is a little stronger and a little slower, with a slightly higher maximum takeoff weight of 12,787 pounds and a never exceed speed of just 152 miles per hour. The big difference, of course, comes in the armament and weapons capabilities. Whereas the Druv is largely unarmed but for warning and ECM systems, the Rudra carries an impressive array of weapons and defense systems, including one 20mm M621 cannon on chin-mounted gun turret from France, 
470 mm Thales 12 round rocket pods from Belgium, the Elbit Compass optoelectronic suite for reconnaissance and target acquisition, forward looking infrared FLIR, and thermal imaging sites interface, and MBDA Mistral 1 short range air to air missiles. Going even further, Modifications currently in development mean it has or will soon have capacity for anti-tank guided missiles, anti-ship missiles, torpedoes, and depth charges. As helicopters go, the Rudra will be armed to the teeth, but it nonetheless pales in comparison to our fifth and final entry on this list of incredible aircraft in service with the Armed Forces of India. 5. HAL Tejas Last, but certainly not least, we come to the HAL Tejas, meaning brilliance. The most recent and the most fearsome aircraft on this list, the Tejas is a uniquely Indian multi-role light fighter jet designed and manufactured for the Indian forces by India's Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. First conceived in the 1980s as a replacement for India's MiG-21 fighters, the Tejas was roughly 30 years in development. A Tejas prototype took its first flight in 2001, but the model wasn't officially introduced into service until 2015 due to budgetary constraints restricting testing and parts acquisition. But eventually, they got this formidable fighter jet off the ground, and today, 16 prototypes are in use and another 17 are commissioned with the Indian Air Force. A total of 324 Tejas craft are planned in a number of different variations, with the Mark II making up a portion of the order and anticipated in the mid-2020s. The Mark I, which is the variation in service now, is an impressive jet in its own right, even before the improvements expected in upcoming variations. It's a two-seater that can be flown by one or two crew members, with a wingspan just under 27 feet and a maximum takeoff weight of 29,762 pounds. It travels at a maximum speed of Mach 1.8, or about 1,381 miles per hour, and has an impressively high service ceiling of 50,000 feet. And it's tough as nails. The aircraft comes equipped with one 23mm twin-barrel Soviet GSH-23 cannon and has eight hardpoints, allowing it to mix and match a vast array of bombs and missiles. In terms of missiles, the Tejas can carry the Indian Astra, Rafael's Derby, or the Russian R-73 air-to-air missiles, Russia's KH-59 air-to-surface missiles, the Soviet KH-35 anti-ship missile, or the BrahMos, a hyperfast supersonic cruise missile. In terms of bombs, the list of options is long and includes the RBK-500 Russian cluster bomb, an Indian-made glide bomb that extend anti-aircraft weapons range, and a plethora of air-dropped GPS and laser-guided options. And future iterations of the Tejas will come equipped with S-8 rocket pods to boot. All this is coupled with the Elta ELM-2052 AESA radar with ELL-8222 ECM pod and an all-weather fire control radar with day and night capability. It may have been a long time coming, but the Tejas today is not a fighter jet you'd want to have to meet in the air. And there you have it. Those are five of the most incredible aircraft made by HAL for the Indian Armed Forces. What do you think? Are you impressed? Not sold? Do you have any favorites among these, or ideas for Indian military aircraft we missed? Sound off in the comments to let us know your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to give us a like and smash that subscribe button to stay up to date on real modern military content like this.